The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. This is Billy Ray Valentine with his special guest, Lewis Winthorpe III, also known as Rich Anderson. Rich, what in the world is going on in the world with the wheat market? Can you explain to us what's happening, my friend? Yes, sir, I sure can. By the way, uh, you know, you want to look at the synthetic price, and the synthetic price right now is 1335 bid 1358 offered you look wow. at a deep in the money option you know how you do it you you buy the call yeah. price and you sell the put price and that that's where we're bidding asked at right now the, the people that are looking at a screen they don't see that uh -huh. but i i would just refer you back to the all-time high was back in march 13th of uh 2008 and okay. in the Bible, they always talk about seven years of fast and seven years of famine. Well, the, what's happening is, that, I mean, yesterday the open interest dropped 10,000 contracts in uh, Kansas City and 7,000 contracts in Chicago. And I assume that was a bunch of your readers uh, mm -hmm. taking profits. And it could have been the commercials <laughs> buying it from them because, you know, they thought they had wheat and now they don't. I mean, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I refer you back to when I was on February 23rd, and I said that, uh, you know, there's major exporters, Russia and the Ukraine, of wheat and corn. They already have some of last year's crop that still hasn't been exported to these ports. And now, of course, these ports are basically closed because once overnight they increased the freight rates by $100,000 per, per ship, and then all of a sudden you can't get insurance. And these commercials thought they had stuff bought for Egypt and these other places. If you remember, about two weeks ago, I sent you an interactive map that showed you where all the wheat that Russia and uh, Ukraine export out of the Black Sea goes to. I mean, they're now having to scramble. So the number one job for wheat is to price itself out of the feed channel, okay, wow. in this country and other countries. Uh, a lot of wheat is to, not a lot, but a, a Right now, any amount is a lot, is used for feed. <laughs> we can't afford to have that. This wheat has to be for people. Yeah. And so that's what you've got going on. You have a crop report on the 9th. Jeff's always oh. wondering, are these things important? They're very important, but right now it's like uh, shooting behind the bird that's flying, you know, at 60 miles an hour. You're never going to hit a pheasant that way. you got to lead it. And yeah. USDA is not a leader. You know, they're, they're always yeah. behind the deal. They should be... Yeah. They should be running the 50 caliber machine guns in the in the uh, helicopters because then you have to lag it because you're going 150 miles an hour. But you know, the, the bottom line is we've got to price the wheat out of the feed channel. The all time high on March 13th of 08 was 1334 and a half. It's interesting we're at that price today. If you were looking at it um, synthetically with the puts yeah. and the calls, and then and then the corn is next. And then oh, did I mention that? Uh, Russia may very well stop. Uh, you know, they can't. They can't export the fertilizer that they've contracted to export. Now the Russian farmers have plenty of fertilizer. Ukrainian farmers may not even have the fuel to put the crops in. We're talking about a vast amount of acres that that are hard to replace. The, you know, the greenification that the Biden administration was going to do uh, caused them to go up sixfold, 600% increase in imports from Russia of gasoline, of, of crude oil. And this is a real mess. They're talking about changing the reformulation program, which would affect corn and beans. Wow. But right now it's wheat that's an issue because it's a, this is what the subsidy for many of the people in the world. So that's what's going on. We're pricing the wheat out of the channel. The commercials, you look at the open interest just so you can see what's happened. Refer back, to, you know, to the crop conditions. I won't go over them, but the, that I mentioned on February 23rd. And, 
you know, it's as simple. It's as simple as that. This is not yeah. for amateurs. This, yeah, and the just, statement of the year, folks. I was get out, yeah. get out and stay out. Yeah. I was speaking with Rich last night when they were lighting up that uh, nuclear power plant in uh, in the Ukraine, and we were seeing uh, uh, the limit bid in uh, wheat. And, and Rich said that that's not going to be trading for a few days because uh, we haven't had seen anything like that in a long time. Hopefully, this will all work out. But if you look at that wheat chart on the monthly basis, folks, even though we did get to almost fourteen dollars, it broke eight dollars a bushel in the coming few years so as long as we got a crop coming out there we should be okay isn't that right is the problem is is if we have any trouble this year we're in the world is in big trouble not just us right the world is in big trouble but uh, we already have crop conditions in the united states that are are not that good you know so that's uh -huh. that, that's problem number one who knows what the spring, you know, hard red uh -huh. spring wheat, which is the protein wheat. I mean, we've got a lot of unanswered questions. And then the fertilizer and, the, you know, corn grows great with fertilizer. Without fertilizer, yeah, not as well. Not uh -huh. as well. Uh, th th this, is, uh, this is a problem that's going to be with us for, for quite some time, I'm afraid. And, if, you know, when you're shooting willy-nilly at a nuclear plant, uh -huh. which could cause a major problem, it's the largest one in Europe. And yep. could destroy farmland for decades. I mean, these people are out yep. of their minds, yep. and something That's, needs uh, to be done. And you know, they, if you remember back, the Russians told the Ukrainians, "Well, you know, you just give up your nuclear weapons, and then we won't have any problem with you." Well, you can see how well <laughs> that worked. Now Putin <laughs> says today, you know, well, you don't need to worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we, we got uh, your back. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah but called, they, they got to get the wheat out of the squad. feed channel because yeah. we got to feed the people first. That's the bottom Amen. line. And always remember what you told me back in 1973, oil is indigestible. I remember you telling me that. And, of course, you being a yeah. farmer would know that better than anybody else. But you can't swallow the, you can't swallow gold and you can't swallow the oil. But, by golly, if the people are hungry, then they really get upset. <laughs> yeah, That's well, sure. this, this is like the pork bellies being limited up in the old days. And we didn't have... Yeah expandable limits in those days and yeah. guys were you know doing i'll buy the front month and i'll sell the back month and, and i'll give you the keys to my cadillac besides you know and they do a yeah. three limit deal i mean th this is what it's this is what it's like that the, the crop reports are inconsequential yeah. this this is yeah. all about what's happening in the war um yeah. it's it's a catastrophe and sure uh, is. it's gonna it's gonna take a while Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy. I know you're real busy today, and I really appreciate you, you know, squeezing us in. So thank you so much, Rich. All righty. You take care. Trade well. Okay. Okay, folks, I wanted to show you last night, you know, because I do I do short-term trading. You know, I'm going to show you a beautiful pattern I had here uh, in the corn last night. Uh, I sent that out, and uh, I don't know how or actually I don't know where I sent it or how I sent it. All I know is I sent it out, and it was trading up there at 771, and uh you know, it looked like it looked like it was going to be an absolute home run. Let me just get this up here. It broke actually 22 cents, folks. It broke all the way down to 750, and then from 750, boys and girls, it went up to, and it's still going at 790. Are you kidding me? We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I wanted to uh, bring to your attention that we're going to have Stan Harley as our, on the break today. He's uh, checked in with us. Uh, we're having some really good volatility in here, so let's just hold on, and we'll have some fun here for the rest of the day. Uh, we're, we're trying to hold these markets. Uh, we've got a pretty good chance of a bounce in here. We hit some pretty strong support just a little while ago in some of these things, so that should be uh, some somewhat, but folks... Uh, you you got to be real careful being long this stuff over the weekend because, as you know, we're not playing with someone that's got a full deck of cards. They're two French fries short of a Happy Meal, as they say in the old trade there in Terre Haute, Indiana. Remember, folks, all of this started last night or yesterday afternoon, I guess it was, when the Fed was out there banging the whistles and blowing the horns. We made that 61% retracement in the NASDAQ. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Someone's asking a question in here. Uh, no, it, yeah, it should. It should. Uh, Mr. Z is asking if uh, if we could get a rally here. Yes, we just turned just a few minutes ago, and uh, we should have a rally that. Hey, this could fade fade at any time too. But we should have a rally that might last a couple hours. That's what it's. That's basically what it's uh, trying to tell us. But if you look at that Nasdaq chart, folks, we hit the exact 61% retracement of the high on the 12th, and also. Okay, and also a, uh, a really nice, uh, hold on, uh, a really nice 382 retracement off the high. That that was what really triggered uh, some of this stuff going on. And so we're at some pretty significant uh, support down in here. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not going, that, that means it, it, may, it may fail at any time. So you've got to be able to, uh, you know, rely on that if you're going to be doing it here. Now, we've got gold is up near the uh, 1965, 66 level. Should have a lot of resistance up here between here and 1970, 1975. But we live in interesting times as the old Chinese curse. So that's it. Now, let's go over here. And we're going to talk a little bit about the FTSE. You can see all of these other markets because of the you know the Christmas tree lights going over Ukraine. Uh, you'll see here we had a big sell-off in the FTSE, and likewise we had another big sell-off in the uh, German DAX. And if this was a daily chart, you can see we stopped uh, right at the 61% uh, retracement. But I believe that it went through there. Uh, someone told me that it did, but I don't have any verification of that. 
that it did break through that. So those are just a few of the things that, uh, hold on one second here, that we're watching here uh, to looking on here. One second, I've got to do a couple quick things. I've got to do some uh, house cleaning here, folks, because uh, we, we were in an area where we could literally, if we don't hold this level of uh, 80, to, excuse me, uh, 4280, uh, there's big trouble in River City in the uh, in the uh, stock market uh, and, uh, and all these others too. So we got to be we got to be extremely careful here. Extremely careful. So let's remind ourselves that. Hold on here a second. I've got to do a little uh, do one other little thing here before I <laughs> I got to go. Hold on just a second. <laughs> hold on just a second. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, trying to do this radio show and trying to watch these markets is not an easy task boys and girls so let's just see what uh see what we've got going in here right now uh, just remember we can't get below that 42 uh i believe it's 40 it's 4280 we can't get below that we get below that there's really trouble uh, along here and that's the thing that you want to uh, uh remind ourselves uh, uh that's what we're watching here right now now I'm, I'm not able to post any of the AI charts right now because I can't get it into that format. But we're in a real strong area here where the, the, the Dow Jones, let's try it again, Larry. The gold has a really positive AI for turning down right about now at around 1867. So uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's uh, let's what I move on to a couple other things here. Folks, uh, the crude oil, I wanted to go through the crude oil sequence because remember, I, I sent out a video last night just as this was happening, and uh, we were had this really nice uh, Gartley pattern up there at that 1268. We went all the way down into the 170 level, and then, of course, we, we bounced back, and now we're back up you know, in that 113 area. But these are short-term patterns, folks, and the reason why I look at those on the 15-minute chart is I don't have to risk very much at that time. For heaven's sakes, if you look at these things on a daily basis, my God, these ranges are so long, it scares me, and I'm fearless. So you've got to be very, very careful. We've got another one that's getting ready to make a big time history, folks. Let's get this one up here so we don't forget it. We've been talking about this in the newsletter for a very long time, and that is the euro on the weekly basis. You know, we've broken through the one nine level like it didn't even exist. I nibbled at that on the short side or the long side last night at the 78% uh, level for the tune of about 20 pips and uh, said goodbye to that one. Should have went short, but I didn't. Uh, of course, I had a few other things that were rocking and rolling, but you'll notice here that we've got a potential double bottom here between 2020 and where we are now coming in at 106.40. That's only 300 handles, folks, from where we are right now. And the way these markets are jumping and the way these markets are jumping, it doesn't take very long to see, you know, what's going to happen to some of these things. Now, I do have, oh, I thought I had it. Please tell me I had it. I had the... Long-term chart for the DAX, for the dollar index, and son of a gun, guess what? Someone has taken it away and hid it from me, and there's nothing else I can do. I'll try to do it after we get done with the uh, uh, our, our guest when he's finished telling us what he's got today. He's got some good stuff, as always. Uh, here is the chart of the uh, Bitcoin. Several questions about that. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like where it's acting right now. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to make it up to that 47,000 uh, level. We're trading at around 40, 41 right now, and it's starting to weaken up. Everything's starting to weaken up, folks. If you notice, people are they're getting they're getting they fear's not there yet. It's getting close, but right now it's not there yet. So just remind ourselves that uh, it's not how much money you make; it's how much money you don't lose. And that's why. When we have these volatile markets, I'll move down to a, I'll go from an hourly chart to a 30 minute to a 15 because I can see the same pattern, but it gives me a risk factor that I'm able to handle. And that's what that floor trader handbook is all about. It's all about risk control and ABCD. And, you know, Mandelbrot said it doesn't make any difference what time frame it's on. That seed pattern, ABCD, is there everywhere. And that's what I look for. And, you know, sometimes like the one in the corn looked really great. Had like had a thousand bucks in it, you know. What did they end up? Ended up being up two hundred dollars, you know. So, but then it kept going another twelve cents. So you you just can't stand in front of these things. What re, what Rich just told us in wheat 
is indicative of what happened back in 2008. We, we hit $14 wheat. Well, $14 wheat turned out to be $5 wheat. You know, it dropped $9 a bushel in the next 18 months. So these are growing crops, folks, and a lot of things can happen. And what we have now is an emotionalism. When you see, when when the wheat, when the grain traders see, uh, you know, the the people over in the Ukraine lit up like a Christmas tree, and happens to be a nuclear uh, power station, that that puts the fear of God into anybody. And you can imagine somebody that was short limit up. I mean, shut the front door. I mean, they're hurt. But if they're well healed, they'll probably come out of it okay. We'll take a break here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We'll be back with Stan Harlow. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Time of the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Because of the conditions in the marketplace, it looks like Stan's not going to be able to join us here today. But if he does pop in, we'll be able to chat with him, of course. Stan, are you there? I am indeed, yeah. Hey. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's start out with the 34-day trading cycle. You nailed that puppy the last time you were on the air. We've had a, a rally that we've not even come close to taking out of those lows. You still think that uh, this low is going to hold, buddy? I, I do. Uh, I absolutely do, Larry. Um, okay. I've got uh, a Fibonacci 
relationship, which, which should come up on the screen here momentarily, yes. uh, that shows right at the low that we saw on February the 24th, um, we had a nice Fibonacci clustering. For example, we were approximately 55 trading days from the December 3rd low. We were about 34 trading days from the January 4th all-time high. And we were approximately 21 trading days from the January 24th low. So okay. all the FIB numbers lined up for that low point on the, uh, on the 24th of February. And I think that probably coincided with a 34-week cycle bottom, which I've been suggesting was, uh, was coming. Well, it hit it, and we had that monster uh, move up uh, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row. And so that was really an amazing call. Everybody was talking about it after you got off the air, the fact that it uh, did exactly what you said it was going to be. Now, you've got another chart here, Stan, which is the 34-week uh, primary cycle. Could you tell the folks, I'll, I'll post this up here. So the, oh, shut the front door and raise your hand. Boy, don't, don't ever trust an Italian doing technical things. Not safe, not safe. Hold on here. Here we go. There's a chart that... Uh, that I'd like for you to talk about. It's your 34-week and eight-month primary cycles. That That is just a uh, continuation of pretty much what you're looking at, only it's monthly instead of weekly, right? Uh, well, no, this is this is weekly, Larry. Okay, and, this is weekly, uh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've analyzed this cycle extensively. I wrote a paper on it in the uh, July issue of the oh. Foundation for the Study of Cycles. And oh, okay. I trace this back decades. Is, this is the dominant cycle on the weekly charts. Every okay. 34 weeks, eight months, which are both FIB numbers, by the way, uh, on average, uh, we tend to get significant cycle lows in the stock market. And what I've done with this chart is I've gone back about five years, and I've highlighted all of the bottoms in the stock market, which are denoted by this cycle. Now, it's not a precise clock. In other words, you can't just set your watch and say, okay, every 34 oh. weeks, boom, we're going to bottom here and time to go long and mortgage the house and forget about stops. No, it's not that easy. It, it's pretty close, but it expands and contracts. Last year, by the way, the cycle underwent a 1.236 Fibonacci expansion, as you can see. And then most recently, it contracted by a Fibonacci 0.764, you add the two of those together and you get 2.00. So that's what happens with cycles. They expand, they contract, but that expansion contraction uh, brings the cycle back to its normal cyclical schedule. That's how it normally uh, transpires. And that's exactly what's happening here. Now we had a very sharp rebound for two days off that February 24th low. So we're getting a little retracement, what I call floor mopping right now to complete the bottoming process. Um, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing reverse about mid-afternoon later today. But the point being is we're, we're in the zone now for a bottoming process. I know there's a terrible war going on in Europe right now, but the cyclical functions don't change. Cycles, technical indicators, charts, as you know, you're a technician. Most of the viewers are technicians. Kind of take all that information into account. And the evidence right now is very, very compelling that we have a 34-week cycle bottom in place. And we're, uh, we're going to soon regain some upside traction here. Wow, that's really good. Stan, I want to thank you for being on the air because I know you were swamped today and you squeezed us in. And these were the numbers that I was hoping you would show us because it was just, you know, was a refresher of what you showed us two weeks ago when it was making, well, nine days ago when it was making that bottom. So thank you for, so much for being on and we'll have you again on in a few weeks. Hopefully it won't be from downtown Ukraine somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> my, my pleasure, Larry. Look forward to it. You bet. Thank you so much, Stan. Stan Harley, folks, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Okay, now we were talking about that gold market just a little while ago. It looks like it's finally turned from this 18, 1965 area. We're trading at 1963. Didn't quite get to 1966, but we're going to be uh, watching it, what we're uh, looking at here. So anyway, those are the things that we're watching here this morning. And it uh, looks like we're going to be heading down on some of these stocks here. Folks, if we get below that 4280, that's not going to be good. 
that is just not going to be good. So let's remind ourselves that that's what we're looking at as we're we're seeing some of these here, see these things here this morning. So bear with me here one second. I've got to, uh, wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Just a second. There we are. Got to change an order here, boys and girls. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the old program here. Um, some. Oh, the question that someone asked me was this. Have I ever seen a market like what we had here? in the uh, stock market uh, last night when we had this uh, uranium thing hit with the uh, uh, nuclear power station and the, the Dow was down 500 points and it rallies back 600 points and then goes back lower. Folks, I've seen that more often than you might want to guess. You know, it, it it's just really amazing how often it does happen. So uh, remind ourselves that uh, these things do happen. I remember one particular instance. I've mentioned it on the air before. It was the movie that came out with Pierce Brosnan, Volcano, filled up in Oregon. And it was a beautiful little idyllic place. And I loved the movie very much. And I was short Beans, and the report was so bearish. Oh, my gosh. The report came out, and Beans went all the way down to almost limit down. And then they started to go back up. And I was so upset once they got up halfway, 15 cents was limited at that time. I just went to the movies and I put my stop in where it was supposed to be at the beginning. And they went all the way up to be unchanged on the day and then went down limit and didn't and lock limit and didn't trade for two days. So <laughs> these things get pretty active. So you've got to use a little bit of common sense when you're going through some of these things. So pay very, very close attention to them because it's not a... Like Mark Douglas says, uh, trading is simple, but it's not easy. So let's uh, keep ourselves uh, abreast of some of these things that we're paying close attention to here here today. Uh, okay, now, oh, one second here. I've got the people are sending me Skype messages, and I, I don't know what they are. Folks, uh, talk about it, Jeremy. Okay, uh, I don't. Uh, I do have run. <laughs> I have run out of things to talk about, but I I don't want to talk about the A word, folks, because uh, uh, Shane and and Norm Winsky and uh, Tim Boss. Tim Boss will be our guest on Monday, folks. Repeat that again, Larry. Tim Boss will be our guest on Monday. He will be our guest on Monday. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, I've posted the chart of the yield curve. This is the 10-year note versus the two-year note. Okay, and that means that the banks, once they get, once this thing gets to negative, folks, they can't make loans because they lose money. And that's when things dry up, liquidity dries up, and that's where the big C words come in. So we're not very far away. We're only 25 basis points away from that. Now, I posted another chart from our good friend Jerome uh, he's done this to us before. Done this to us. He's shared it with us before. These are the. Uh, we're over the full moon now. Of course, you can see here. That's what we're looking at. And they don't work all the time. All that is, folks. It's a 14-day cycle. It's nothing more than that. It's nothing mysterious. You know, people look at it from a lot of different reasons. From the farmer, farmer's almanac, all the way through, you know, to the uh, on the uh, tablets. Uh, from back in the days of the Sumerians and Babylonians that uh, Dr. Andrew Lowe pointed out. And basically what's that showing us here in the middle of March, we're going to be getting another one right around the uh, four, let me see, four, right around the 16th, as I recall, we will come up with a, a new moon. So we want to be watching that. Now, if that's the case, you can see here that he's already drawn in the patterns. He, we've done, we do these too, but you can see he's done a beautiful job. All he's done is put the little lunar aspect there. And, you know, sometimes they work. A, so, look, and sometimes they're off one or two days, folks. So you've got to use something else. And just besides the that, you've got to be, that's why we use patterns and ratios. And that tells us pretty much, not all the time, but close enough to, to where we want to be. What, one, other, one other mention uh, on this yield curve. You know, it's not infallible, just like anything. You know, it's just not infallible. But the, but the Federal Reserve is between a rock and a hard place. And believe me, the hard place is pretty tough. Look what's going on in the bond market, folks. Just just take a look here. You remember we had that big ABCD in the notes down there, at, you know, 125. Look at it. Look what's happened here. We've had a move in bonds. We've moved nine handles, almost 10 handles in 10 days. I mean, well, no, it's been two weeks now, but that's been, uh, you know, that's that's a heck of a short covering rally. And that's all that is. If you go look at the open interest on these things, you'll see that the open interest is not going up. It's going down. So shorts are for, forced to cover because people have uh, they they're they're running away. They, they don't want to stand in front of these things. And that's the bottom line of, uh, you know, what we're paying attention to on these. So I. I, that's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. So hopefully that'll be uh, something that will be uh, interesting uh, for you to uh, take a look at. And uh, if you if you do find now, I, I look at Larry Williams's work on that yield curve, and like Larry says, there's nothing 100 percent, but it's a good indicator that once bank get once bank gets to the point that they can't make money off the loans, they don't make loans, and that means liquidity dries up, and everything else starts to dry up. And that's what happened back in. Uh, 1929 and a tiny bit in 19 uh, in 2000 when we had the real estate problem with uh, you know people that were buying houses that they shouldn't. I, I have to tell you a funny story here where I live here in Tucson. We had a nice young man that worked over at the auto place uh, at Cadillac. He was a mechanic and uh, he had bought two houses in our neighborhood and the, the bank gave him a 125 percent mortgage. And so what he did, he went out and bought a Rolex. And he bought himself a BMW, all of which were for sale 
about a year later at much, much uh, discounted prices because he lost everything when everything rolled over and prices dropped by about 60 percent. So uh, those just a few things that we're paying close attention to here today. Uh, things are not nearly as bad as they were back in that uh, in that time time frame, but it's still, you know, uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right. Not not a problem. No problem. Hold on just a second here. I got to do that here. Okay. Yeah. We've ha we're having some lot of activity in these grains, folks. They're they're really rocking and rolling quite a bit. So we need to uh, pay very very close. The good part is, I mean, the, the beans are trading actively, and so is corn. Wheat is still lock limit up, and it's probably going to be like Rich said. The options on them say they're going to go at least another eighty to ninety cents higher. And uh, that's uh, neither here nor there because uh, we're not involved with that. And we, you know, when you have vertical markets like that, if you happen to be lucky enough to catch one either up or down, you know, that's a that's a good thing to do. But what you really want to do is to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to uh, protect yourself with the risk. And that's uh, the whole thing of of what we're doing here as we look at these. The, regarding the the dot, hold on, we, do we have a caller in here? Just a second, let's just take a quick look here. Uh, okay, uh, we, we just had a 30 cent drop in uh, corn, just dropped from uh, 782 to 751. Boy, that's a big drop. Shut the front door. How much higher did it go than what we were looking at? I was, uh, 782 was the high, let's get it up here. I'm not watching it now because I've already went and taken a look at it, but we'll see whether that's going to mean anything or not. These markets are going to be really quiet. Uh, uh, it's really going to be, uh, has corn popped? Oh, very good, Bill. This is good. You and uh, Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, uh, yeah. they just posted the chart of the corn in there. You can see that it's had a pretty good, uh, pretty good correction. Remember, corn's our largest agricultural crop. And for that, you know, wheat is a lot less because, you know, I posted that wheat, you know, wheat is all over the world. You know, the other thing that's going to be more expensive for you beer drinkers is Ukraine is the number one supplier of hops. And hops is uh, important for beer production. So your beer is going to get a lot more expensive uh, coming down the road here a little bit. So uh, those are just a few of the things that are that are going around. So pay, pay, pay close attention to that. That's uh Another one that's uh, very, very interesting to uh, to be watching here. Okay, now I want to do here, I made a little bit of a mistake on something here, but I'm making a correction in it right now, so we'll be all right. And then we'll move on to the next one that we have here. We're starting to get that rally. That rally that we're having should, should last about two more hours in the stock market, and then we should be down the last two hours of the day if this is, in fact, going to be the... Uh, if this is going to be the uh, case. So we'll uh, do one thing at a time as we're looking at these. So yeah, I'm seeing the chart here. Wow, corn is really taking, it's down 40 cents, folks. I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing an updated quote on this. And, and beans have dropped uh, quite a bit too. They've, uh, they've all hit, uh, hit some big numbers down in here. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That's a, that's a big move. So let's uh, remind ourselves that these markets don't go one way. We still haven't traded wheat yet, as near as I can tell. And of course, th these option players, they can release those things in a hurry. And you're not going to be able to stand in front of them if they uh, decided to go. It'll go limit down, just like it did in 2000. It went from $14, you know, like I mentioned, to $5. It didn't go straight down, but almost straight down. It had one three eight two rally you know, during that move. So those are some of the things that we're, you know, watching here uh, this morning here as we look at some of these uh, markets uh, move. We've had a nice, a nice 20 point handle rally here in the S&P. We got down to that magical level of 4280. And now we're trading at uh, 4300. We jumped 20 handles on that. And so we'll see if this is going to be the case here. Boy, I hate to miss that. I can see the move now in the corn. What it did is it went up and made another Marginal new high at the 1.27 and sayonara. Wow, something got hit. This is a big move, folks. I'm, I'm looking at it here on the side here. We dropped 50 cents a bushel in corn here in about uh, one hour. Oh, and it's still going down. 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to uh, bring up the date on this corn. I, I happen to change the uh, chart parameters here for a second so we can see what's going on because uh, for two reasons. One, it shows you the value of Mandelbrot's AB equals CD that we talk about in the Floor Traders Handbook. You'll see the ABCD level went to 781. The high was 783, and it went from 783. It's dropped 50 cents a bushel. $2,500, and I'm on a radio show and unable to put that order in and shut the front door and raise the rent. But that's the way it goes. Some days it's chicken salad. Some days it's chicken poop. It just depends on what you, how you mix it. Folks, remember, we're going to have Tim Bost on our, as our guest here on Monday. He's going to be talking to us about the cryptocurrencies because we've had some big moves in those. And it, you know anything below 38000 in those cryptos would really be uh, nasty. And that's uh, something that uh, you don't want to see. We don't like nasty. We like that. Nasty is a 20, uh, 50 cent drop in corn here. Uh, I don't even know what the limits are nowadays. I think they expanded them out. But uh, And beans dropped 60 cents. And, of course, wheat's still up the limit. At least it was. I haven't heard my beepers go off, so I had it set so that if they started to trade, I would know. But they will trade, and we're going to have some great trading opportunities, folks. These are the kind of markets that lead to great markets. So just be patient. And uh, remember, Warren Buffett's two favorite rules. Number one rule, don't lose money. And number two rule, 
Don't break rule number one. Well, you have to trade, so you've got to manage your risk the best you can. But those are a few of the things that you want to be able to look at it. So that that's really what we're what we're doing here. Uh, and if I had to put a nickel to a dime right here, what I would do is I'd sell bonds, close my eyes, put a one dollar, put a one hundred, uh, put a thirty-two thousand uh, dollars stop on it, and pray for the best because that market is like, uh, uh, if they call that a flight to quality. That's like uh, bringing gasoline to a fire extinguisher and trying to put the fire out. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side on Monday with Tim Bost as our guest. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.